Hey guys and welcome to the Unmortal channel where today we're talking about the Xbox Game Showcase and what it represents for Indian gamers and how it's going to be much better for us with a certain thing which we are very excited to talk about. And we're also going to talk about the main games which we think are very interesting. So the main talking point of this show is going to be Halo Infinite and I'm going to pass it off to Killstreak who's going to start. What's going on guys and gals? Killstreak here. Thank you for the amazing introduction original captain. And now for the big kahuna of the Xbox Live Series event, Halo Infinite. Man, I've been so excited to watch the trailer of this game and do I have to tell all the gameplay aspects of this? Oh my god. They've brought in the shield but they've made a little bit of modifications for that so that it can move and all that. And you have a grappling hook like who would have thought that Master Chief would get a grappling hook? I mean the map is badass by himself. Oh yeah, uh, Master Chief is back and full cladded in action with his 117 gear and Spartan Mark IV armor is bearing it very well. I've been playing the series from the beginning. This is the 6th series from the main events and the 14th one overall. They have come up with a couple of uh, strategy games like Halo Wars but this, this is what I'm very excited for. After a long time running, this game has brought Master Chief back to us. So I'm really excited for this game. So yeah, I can see you're, that you're fanboying a lot, Killstreak. And I would agree, it's one of the most well-known FPS games and there are lots of people who are fans of Xbox that are just waiting for this game to come out. But we have to talk about the mixed reactions that we saw from people after they saw the stream. The issue might be that it was the stream quality and as you know that games, they don't look exactly how they would look in person on the stream. But there have been some reactions about the type of textures and stuff they use. The thing is that one aspect people aren't looking is that this game has been designed for Xbox One primarily. I mean it's been in development for about what seven years is what they said. So if that's the case I don't think they were exactly looking towards the next gen consoles so maybe it's enhanced for next gen but I wouldn't call it a completely next gen game. I, I think it's more of a cross gen game and that is one of the downfalls you get with trying to make a cross-gen title. And uh, regarding that as well, there's no ray tracing, which is one of the features next-gen is supposed to be all about. But they have promised that it's coming with a patch, so we'll just have to wait and see. Coming to another game of the Xbox series, we have been showcased with the State of Decay 3. I have played State of Decay 1 as well as State of Decay 2. They were pretty amazing open world. This, I'm, I have really high hopes for it being a one of a kind zombie survival game where you get to fend off zombies as well as complete missions, fight against other NPCs, get loot, gather loot, go hunting. And from what I'm seeing, even the animals in this game are gonna be zombies. So I'm really, really, really excited for this. So talking about the fa our favorite games that we saw from this showcase, I actually was totally surprised by Avowed. As soon as I saw the beginning of this trailer, I was damn interested. Like it kind of looked like Skyrim to me with a bit more fantasy type of elements. And we can't tell too much from the trailer because it barely showed anything, but it looks intriguing as hell. And the good part is though, this one is a completely next gen game. If you look at the bottom, it said Series X, and Windows exclusively. It did not mention anything about Xbox One. So I'm happy that this is gonna be a proper next-gen game. So what did you think about it, Isaac? I know you played a lot of Skyrim. Yes, I played Skyrim back in the day and I loved Skyrim. But the looks of the trailer of this game, that is Vervid, it looks similar to Skyrim with a lot of dark fantasy elements added to it. And like Captain mentioned, it's next-gen. So I assume that graphics of this game will look stunning and I'm excited I'm eager for this game. So Microsoft's competitor to Sony's Gran Turismo was also shown off, Forza. To be honest, I, I'm quite excited for this as well. I'm a racing fan and uh, all the footage we saw was in-engine footage. Now we don't know which platform it was taken on, whether it was a PC or Xbox Series X, but the fact that they showed it off and it was all in-engine is kind of exciting. Now ray tracing was there in this trailer. 
it was ray traced reflections and it looked quite good. I think it looked better than Gran Turismo, to be honest with you. And even this is gonna be a next gen only title. It said uh, Xbox Series X and Windows. It didn't say Xbox One. So I, for one, am glad that there are less cross gen games coming out with respect to this game show. So what did you think about it? So yeah, coming to the gameplay aspects of it, it's a track oriented game, but the physics that they've used is amazing. And from the previous titles that I've watched, it's gonna be a really huge thing. They have really taken into the aspects of how the car works, how it turns, how the wheels turn, how the drift things work, like the drag, and uh, front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, the differences between those things and how they react to the environment, the whole thing, they've done it tremendously well in the past games. So have a really high expectations of what they're gonna do in Forza Motorsport. So we are really excited to see what they're gonna put in this game. And the garage aspects, the lighting, man, the game looks amazing. So coming off it, hopefully the game does really well. One game which I don't think anybody was expecting to be honest is Tetris Effect. What can I say other than it's another Tetris game? It looks damn good actually for a Tetris game. It has multiplayer, it has good sound and good effects. There's not much else to say about it other than if you enjoy Tetris, I guess you're gonna like this one too. Coming up to the next game in the series, they've come up with Stalker 2. It's a pretty amazing series so far. Stalker 2 is going to be a bit unique in the aspect that they've added a bit more zones, the masses and all that. And so what is Stalker basically? It's a unique blend of FPS, simulation as well as horror. It's a really thick atmosphere where it's an open world simulation about a horror series where you get to play as a guy who has been affected by a memory loss agent. And from seeing the trailer, oh my god, it's gonna be a huge thing. I'm really excited for this game as well. So let's see what they have in store for us. So next up on the list is an FPS game, which to be honest, looks very intense. I'm of course talking about Crossfire X. To be honest, this game looks like it might have the best graphics of all the games shown in this Xbox game showcase. It was just so, there was just so much happening at the same time. Explosions here, it looks so fast paced as well. Some people were calling it Counter-Strike with a story and it's definitely gonna have multiplayer as well. So it looks like a nice shooter for people who are into that competitive FPS genre. The next up on the series is Warhammer 40k Dark Tide, one of the most anticipated games according to me because I love the game series, the strategy games as well as their third person shooter which was Space Marines. So Dark Tide is gonna be a first person shooter and it's gonna be co-op based so that's got me really excited for this. And to end this amazing showcase off, they surprised us with another gem, which honestly, lots and lots of people have been waiting for. It's finally a next-gen Fable game. In gameplay terms, they didn't actually show any gameplay. It was just a CGI trailer. But I feel like it's the perfect sneak peek to get fans hyped up and excited for whatever they're gonna show us next with respect to Fable. Now let's talk about what we think is the actual main star of the show the Xbox Game Pass. So in basic terms, it's just Netflix for gamers. By the way, none of this is sponsored. We just wanted to tell you about this because we think it's a pretty cool idea. You just pay a monthly subscription and you get access to an entire library of games that you can download and play anytime. But you may be thinking it's been out for a while. So why are we bringing this up in this video? It's because every single game we talked about in this video is gonna be available on Game Pass. The main thing is, this is gonna affect console gamers I feel in India because the average price of a console game in India starts anywhere from a thousand and goes all the way up to four thousand rupees. And if you think about that, that's kind of insane how much we need to pay for games. The best thing is, right now, it's just 50 rupees for the first month and then it changes from 700 to 900 depending on the tier you take and the most expensive option of a thousand bucks a month includes xbox live gold as well which xbox gamers know you need to play online anyways so we think it's a pretty good deal and recommend you guys to check it out like captain said game pass is a really good thing but there are a few things you have to remember about this game pass the first thing is that the games are being cycled through suppose you're playing one game for the next season or for the next month 
they might remove that game so you'll have to end up buying it or just stop playing that and the second thing is that if you are buying the game pass for just one game i don't think it's worth it that's what i feel but it's completely up to you you can buy it and yeah by the way we are not sponsored by xbox or anything please sponsor us xbox yes xbox please sponsor us and that brings us to the end of this video and down in the description will be links to all the topics that we talked about today including all the game trailers and info about the xbox game pass go check that out if you think it seems interesting and make sure to check us out on social media the links will be down below as well keep your eyes peeled for more videos coming up from this channel uh, if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up subscribe to us if you want to see what other types of content we'll be releasing see you have a great time guys